Hey, what's up guys? How you guys doing? I'm just chilling here, having fun, making a little video, a little commentary. I know it's been a little while. And I was going to go ahead and uh, bring up the catch up where I left off. Which I said it was going to be Paint Manning versus Tom Brady. Now, I don't think I'll be making that video. Not, not today. Okay? Not today. Just because something came up yesterday, and it's, it's a big deal. Well, at least here in Denver. Maybe even in the NFL. Uh, Denver Broncos, uh, Mr. Pat Bolin, former owner. He just resigned yesterday because of Alzheimer's disease. His wife uh, wrote a statement or uh, a letter to the fans and to the community explaining the decision and what was going to happen. So it's sad. You know, I mean, everybody here, it's kind of disappointing, you know, just because Pat Bowling has been one of the best owners in the NFL. At least that's that's what I believe. Not just because I'm a diehard Bronco fan, but that's because that's what I know. And he's just a great owner. Uh, you never hear him be in a lot of stuff in the media or or this and that. He's just a good stand-up guy. He he backs his his uh, his players, his his coaches, everybody. You know, he's he's just an amazing owner. He's also building a uh, or he put out money, just him, not taxpayer money, a new facility for the Denver Broncos to practice in. Uh, they were practicing in a, uh, it's called, they call it the bubble, but it's like a field. It's it's a field, but it's turf, and it's covered in case whenever it's snowing and the weather gets pretty pretty crappy, they could go ahead and, and practice in there. But he made a new facility, or he's, it's actually under construction, just out of his pocket, just because he wants his team to be the best, and he he wants them to have the best. So... That just right there shows you the dedication and love he has for his team. Uh, I actually still consider him the owner. He did leave the team in power of Mr. Ellis, which that was, uh, he's the president of the Denver Broncos, which was the right-hand man for, for Mr. Pat Bolin. And it's just sad. I mean, there was an interview with, with Denver Broncos. Ellis was there and uh, John Elway which was, you know, kind of like an emotional type of speech of him knowing um, what the team means to uh, Pat Bowling. But imagine, guys, over a mental health uh, disease, I guess you could call it a disease, it is Alzheimer's, um, you have to get away from what you love. And the most terrifying thing is forgetting about it. Not knowing that you won two Super Bowls. Not knowing that you're the number one owner in 30 years to win 300 games. He was the first owner to do that. To win 300 games under 30 years. Number one owner. His record is it's, it's awesome from a win-loss perspective. He's one of the best owners out there. Or I guess used to be if you could say I still consider him the owner like I said. But... It just sucks. And I just hope this year we just blow everybody out of the water. And hopefully we win this Super Bowl for Mr. Pat Bowen. Even if he if he's not 100% on his mental health, but at least give him that joy for that for that little bit of time that he might be able to remember. I, I do truly wish that. And not just for, for Mr. Pat Bolin, but for for Denver and for the for the for Colorado. I know you guys might be uh fans from other teams, maybe even the rival teams like the Chargers or the Chiefs or the Raiders. But you have to respect a disease that happens. Just like I mean, I remember me always making fun of Mr. Al Davis from the Raiders, but hey, he changed the face of football, of the NFL. He was a great pioneer for the NFL. 
I dislike the team, the Raiders, but I respect what Al Davis did. Towards the end, he was losing it. You making dumb moves, which never helped the Raiders. And they always kept living in the past. You know, just whatever Madden did. I mean, or, you know, the last Super Bowls, which doesn't really matter anymore. Just like the Broncos. You had two back-to-back -back championships, but it doesn't really matter anymore. You need to win now. And I believe the Broncos, everybody in the uniform, all the coaches, everybody over there at Dove Valley, that's where they practice. They're all going to give their 100% to win this Super Bowl. I, I just know it. I've been listening to interviews, and you could just sense it. You, you could just sense it from everybody and their voice and it just sucks so bad that we lost that Super Bowl in February or was it April I forgot it was February I just want to erase that from my from my mind <laughs> um, it just sucked it seemed like it feels different team and it feels like not them so I don't know I don't know just everything went wrong even from the first snap a safety what? Just terrible. Terrible. I mean, yeah, I even get pissed off now <laughs> just thinking about it. Uh, but whatever. But there was actually rumors back back then when uh, Mr. Uh, Pat Boland had fired Mike Shanahan, which Mike Shanahan, he is still huge here in Denver. He's huge in the community, and people still love him no matter what. Uh for me, I will always remember him as a Denver Broncos coach, not a Redskins coach or a Niners, 49ers. Uh, what was he? Uh, I think he was a offensive coordinator or for the Raiders. I know he, he, he was with the Raiders too. Um, they say there was rumors that Pat Bowling never remembers or didn't remember firing Mike Shanahan. Imagine if Mike Shanahan was still the coach. You don't know what would happen. Maybe Peyton Manning wouldn't be here. Uh, the whole thing was that just McDaniels just ruined our team. It's like if Bill Belichick sent him out here on purpose. <laughs> you know? I don't know. I don't know. Is it, I, I know that's not, that's not true. But it just sucks, man. McDaniels just screwed us over so bad. He, just, he got rid of like, he got rid of our whole team it was Jake Cutler, Brandon Marshall, Paint Hillis, Tony Scheffler. I mean the list goes on and on and on of all the moves he made that were just stupid and then in the draft you could have you could have got uh, McCoy from the Eagles, the running back. But no, you picked No Sean Moreno. I like Moreno. He, he he's a good but he's not he's not LeSean McCoy. Not at all. And Years later, picking uh, picking up uh, Tim Tebow the next year. Man, what a joke of a move. I like Tim Tebow. I'm actually a fan of Tim Tebow. I just don't believe uh, he should have been picked in the first round. We could have done so much in those two picks in the first round. And he just blew it. But all in all, this video is coming to an end. i just going to, I don't know say a goodbye I guess to Mr. Pat Bowen and a thank you and I do believe and I do hope the Broncos will win this Super Bowl coming up and it'll be dedicated to Mr. Pat Bowen and all Denver Colorado everybody over here uh I don't know guys go ahead and leave a comment down below tell me what you think who is your favorite football team I don't care if you throw a little elbows towards my team it's all good uh, I always love a good rivalry. Uh, we're the best in the West. NFC or AFC. Or, I don't know. We're just the best team. That That's it. <laughs> but alright guys. That's my opinion. I'll bring you guys the Tom Brady, Paint Manning. Here shortly. some Sometime soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, this little commentary. I just had to make it. Uh, but alright guys. Catch you guys next time. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Cut. See ya. <laughs> Peace.